Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 9 e-commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about how to show featured product on home page. In this home page, you can see here, this is the feature tab and uh, let's show here the featured products. Okay, so for that, I'll switch to the project and first of all, let's open the subcomponent class file. So just go inside the app directory, then HTTP, LiveWire. And from here, let's open home component.php file. And inside this file, uh, let's page here the feature product. So right here, dollar f products is equal to product colon colon. Uh, add here the condition where and column name featured. If featured is true, okay, then uh, let's get the product in random order. So right here in random order, okay, and then get the product. And from this product, uh, let's take eight products. So right here, take a number eight. Okay, and now uh, let's copy this F products and just pass inside this array. So right here, F products arrow dollar F products. Okay, now save this file. Alright, now go to the home component view file. So just go inside the resources directory, then views, livewire, and from here let's open home component.blade.php file. And inside this file, uh, let's find here the feature product tab. And uh, here you can see here this is the featured product tab. Okay. And uh, their tab ID is this one tab one so inside this tab you can see here the tab one id okay and uh, here is the first product okay so before this first product let's add here at the rate for each F products as a product okay and now let's cut this for each and paste after this closing div okay after this and now here uh, let's display the title so right here double curly bracket dollar f product arrow name and uh, let's copy this and display here the price regular price okay and all of I just comment this Okay, and uh, also comment this product action. So just select and uh, comment this. And for displaying here the product image, I'll go to the sub component view file. And from here, let's copy the image URL. Here is the image URL. Okay, so just copy and uh, paste here. So select this and paste. Okay. And uh, for this over image, just select and press or uh, comment it. So, all right. And now I add the product details page URL. So just select this and also select this one. 
and now from here sub component view file let's copy this url and paste here okay and change here f products and also change here f products okay and now for this add to cart button uh, go to the sub component class file so this one inside the app directory http live file and from here let's open sub component class file and from here let's copy this the store method so select this and copy and go to the home component class file and before this render method just paste here okay and uh, also import the card so let's copy this and paste inside this home component class file all right now save this file now inside the view file uh, inside this add to cart link uh, just remove this link and add here the as sign and now uh, let's call this function a store function so right here wire colon uh, click click event okay prevent is equal to function name which is a store and then inside this function just pass here the product id so write here double curly bracket then f product arrow id and then just pass here the product name so after this comma single quote and add your double curly bracket then dollar f product arrow name and uh, one more thing just pass here the price so right here inside the double curly bracket dollar f product arrow regular price okay now save this and now let's remove uh, the remaining tip the remaining product okay so let's collapse this tip also this one okay these are the seven so select last one and just select from here to here and just delete okay now save this and uh, it's done so let's check so switch to the browser and just refresh the page and now you can see here inside the featured product there is no any product okay so first of all uh, let's make some product to the feature product so go to the admin menu and let's click on products all right now let's edit the product okay and uh, here okay sku is not showing here so let's check so switch to the project and go to the product edit component view file where is the product inside the admin menu product edit product component view file this one and uh, this is the sku okay uh, now go to the admin edit product view uh, class file so from here admin folder let's open this one okay and uh, here sku okay yes just write here the sku in capital letter okay so write here sku and also change here inside the 
update product method so let's change in the capital SKU okay now save this and also change inside the admin add product component dot php class file okay uh, inside this let's change here capital SKU okay now save this and now let's check so just refresh the page and you can see here the SKU okay this time you can see here the feature product is no so just select yes okay and now just click on update and product updated now let's check on home page so just refresh the page and uh, it's not showing okay so let's check so inside the edit product uh, here is the SKU okay uh, sorry featured all right I did one mistake here just cut this uh, property binding and uh, just to paste inside this select control okay note this inside this label so just paste here and also check the product uh, admin add product component view file so just open the file and check the featured select control okay there is also a mistake so just cut this and paste inside this select control okay not inside this label so save this file and one more time just edit the product so refresh the page okay and let's select yes feature and now just click on update product updated okay refresh the page and this time you can see here featured yes now go to the home page and let's refresh the page and uh, it's showing the error message undefined variable product okay on home page inside the view on this view file okay let's change here the variable name f product inside this image okay now save this and let's check one more time so just refresh the page and this time you can see here the feature product okay now let's uh, make some more product as a feature product so go to the all products okay and now let's uh, edit this one Okay, and change here featured yes and just click on update okay sale price is missing so right here update okay product has been updated now replace the page all right you can see here to feature product now let's check to add to cart so click on add to cart button mm, here is the another error inside the cart okay so undefined variable dollar product so go to the cart view file mm, this one okay here is one more mistake inside this image just right here item not product okay now refresh the page and uh, cart
okay and let's open one more view file cart icon component uh, dot, uh, dot php file and uh, check here okay inside this image uh, let's remove this product and add here item and now save and just refresh the page okay and you can see here product inside the cart here image is not showing okay inside this view file uh, let's write here item arrow model okay model arrow image and also change inside the cart view file item arrow model arrow image okay now save this and refresh the page now it's showing the image here all right uh, let's add one more product this one so click on add to cart and you can see here the product okay so and one more thing uh, inside this admin all product uh, all product page you can see here here logo is not showing okay so for that uh, go to the layout file just go inside the layout directory and open app.play.php file and let's find the logo so here is the logo file okay so just select this and press ctrl plus d okay three times and now just write here uh, just copy this and uh, write here double curly bracket then asset and single quote and just paste here okay and also change the URL here. So just select this index.html and press Ctrl plus T three time and add here forward slash. Okay, now save this and just refresh the page. Now we can see here the logo. Okay, and if I click on uh, the logo, you can see here the home page. Alright, so in this way you can show featured product on home page. So that's all about showing featured product on home page. So thanks for watching this video. And if you still have any kind of question, you can ask me in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.